Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Happy midday to Eastern Iowa. This is Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie Kamidari. We, of course, have had the shower and storm activity across much of the morning time frame. That's going to continue into this afternoon, but we also got to talk about the winds here. They've been picking up sustained winds, mostly out of the north and northeast, anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those are those yellow bars that you see. You could also continue seeing some gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour as well as this system continues to swing on by just to our south. But heading into tonight and into tomorrow especially, we'll begin to see winds weaken just a touch, still a slight breeze, but winds more to the north and northwesterly direction. But again, I do want to talk about the shower activity that we're still seeing across the area. Again, pretty nice batch of rain or band of rain that you could call it, mostly along and north of Highway 20, even out towards western portions of the state of Iowa as well. But this has really kept temperatures pretty steady all across the area, even into this uh, late morning, we could call it, of course. Temperatures from north to south, mostly in the 40s to lower 50s from north to south, that is, like I mentioned. And we should pretty much stay that way as this batch of rain uh, pretty much stays stationary and then develops and swings on to the east as you move throughout the rest of the afternoon today. So let's take you through that again right around the noon time frame. This particular model doing a pretty accurate job of showing where the rain is at this time frame. Over the next few hours, we'll start to see that band impacting our area, scoot off to the east, and things will begin to lighten up a little bit, at least most of the area, over most of the area that is. Now, heading into the evening time frame, you start to see a little bit of shower activity as well, still just to our west, but I think it's more around the 10 to 12 o'clock time frame later on tonight. We all begin to see somewhat of a drying trend that will lead into the daytime tomorrow. Still lots of cloud coverage though, as you can see. That'll decrease during the overnight period into tomorrow morning. Now in terms of rainfall, again, southern areas, I think you're pretty much done in terms of seeing any more rainfall throughout the day today. Still can't rule out some scattered showers, maybe a scattered storm, isolated storm rather, that could develop. But again, most of the rainfall that's still to come is across those northern counties north of Highway 20 with that band of rain we've been tracking this morning. Still could see upwards of a quarter, maybe a half inch more of rainfall from that. We saw some moderate rainfall going on right around Dubuque and to Clayton counties. But for today, again, here we are. We've already reached those highs for the most part. In the 40s to lower 50s, even some middle 50s down to the south there. Showers and storms continue to be likely throughout the area, throughout the day today. Now tonight, like I mentioned, once we're past that midnight time frame, could see some lingering showers, but we should all begin drying out once we're past that time frame. Now lows by tomorrow morning from north to south lower to upper 30s across the board. Winds will begin to lighten up a touch as well. Now for that city by city forecast, for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City, we begin to really dry out tomorrow. The first half of the day, I think we're partly cloudy. Then into the back half of the day, it looks like some of those clouds might try to fizzle a little bit more, maybe work in a little bit of sunshine as we cap off the work week here. Still pretty decent day, highs in the 50s. Same story for Saturday, just the winds pick up and the cloud coverage increases as well. But those winds will stick around for St. Patrick's Day on Sunday, and temperatures going to drop as well with that northwesterly breeze. Highs mostly in the lower 40s across the board. Same story for Monday, but Tuesday, that's the first day of spring, of course. It acts like it. You see temperatures beginning to climb back up into those upper 50s by the middle of next week. 